Hey, hey, what's going on, YouTube? We are about to get into some Budoku 101 strategies. Fundamentals. Fundamentals, everybody. It's always good to know the fundamentals with anything. So on today's video, I'm going to go over a few tips and tricks that kind of help me get some high scores. Rule number one. I know that Everybody wants to get a high score, but when you see a score, before you score, always try to see if there's a better way to score, i.e. a combo or a way that you can change some scores together to get a scoring streak. Rule number two, always leave yourself room for another play. And think about the probability of what patterns of blocks will come next. I know this is kind of self-evident that you should always leave yourself room to play. But when you start getting up in high scores, it's very tempting to get a high score before you see what block patterns that you have to play. And if you play the wrong block, you might not have no room left and lose for that game also when it comes to probability there are only so many block patterns that will appear on the board learn them it will serve you well I will go over all of the block patterns in a later video called intuitive block recognition rule number three this kind of goes along with rule number two Always get big block patterns out of the way first in a series to get the maximum amount of play or scores. A single big score is not worth running out of room to play. Especially when dealing with block patterns like the cross and that bad boy which I call the diagonal of death. Four squares diagonal in a row. Rule number four. Learn what block patterns naturally go well with other block patterns. When a new series of blocks come, you should already have a good idea of how to utilize them. I know you might not understand these rules at first, but just keep playing. It will eventually click. Rule number five. This is a freebie that a lot of people don't take advantage of. When you don't think you have any plays left, Toggle the blocks around without letting go to see if anything lights up. A lot of times, the game will show you that you have a play that you might not have known that you had. Alright guys, now we're about to get into a little bit of block recognition. Uh, but before we go there, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, the block patterns in Wadoku are only about maybe 10 to 12 different block patterns and I'm just gonna go over a few of the basics maybe about two or three of them alright now this first block pattern are what I call straight lines straight line blocks work best around the edges of the board whether they are horizontal or vertical you want them on the perimeter unless you got a score of L shaped them. block patterns or any block pattern with a 90 degree angle. Block patterns with 90 degree angles work best interconnecting with other blocks and on the corners of the board. Last but not least for today's video, you have the cube, which is my favorite, and the single square, which is my other favorite block pattern. You can pretty much put those anywhere. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll do go one on one strategies. Please don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.